you might do differently when your brother's calling you up and asking you to come out and break her phone. I tell them to come on over and, okay. and, and watch TV with me or, you know, uh, you don't bring that to drink. Okay, good. Awesome. Great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little role play. All right? Um, Raymond, do you want to be the brother? Yeah. You want to be his brother? Yeah, brother. Okay, all right. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> so I'm going to have you guys come up here. This is how it's going to work, all right? <clears throat> Raymond's going to be playing the part of your brother. He's going to call you up, all right? So you're going to pick your phone up, and he's going to put the pressure on for you to come out. So he, in, in real life, what did he want you to go do? He wanted you to go bowling? Is that what it was? Yes. Okay. He wanted and you to be a bottle of liquor. And get a big bottle of liquor. All right, so that's going to be your role. So you're going to get some weed. All right, and get some weed. All right. So that's going to be your role, okay? So you're you're going to make it enticing. You're going to put the pressure on him to come out, all right? So in in, uh, in your role play, you're going to stop. I'm going to say, okay, hang on a minute. You're going to put your hand to your head, which indicates that you're thinking inside. You're you're, you're uh, letting us know what your inside thoughts are, and you're going to read down to, through some of your risky thoughts, all right? And you're going to read some of your risky feelings, and you're going to read your risky attitude and belief, all right? Then. You're going to switch over, and you're going to start reading down some of your new thinking. You're really going to emphasize the circled one, because we already said that that was the one that most likely is going to help you out here, right? And then you're going to make sure that you read your new circled attitude and belief, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to make the decision that you said, so instead you're going to invite him over. Yeah. Okay, you guys got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so you can come up to the front. <clears throat> Shoot. Okay, all right, so uh, so we're going to go ahead, when I say action, your phone's going to ring and you're going to give them a call, all right, Raymond? Okay, ready? Action. Yo. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? What's happening? I'm just having to just sit down in the house. What's going on? Yeah, right, y'all watching TV pulled. No, we ain't going to do that, baby. Now come home, just going to go bowling. I got a big ball with that thing to rock. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of reefer. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, you're right, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to leave the house. No one would know. I'm bored. My night wouldn't hurt. I could smoke some weed. My system would be clean before I have to take a urine test. And my brother keep calling me. He called me four times. First three times I ain't answer. I just want I just want to have some fun. I feel anxious, confused, rebellious, frustrated, overwhelmed, very bored. I'm a grown man. I done did all this time in prison. I ain't going to have fun. But I don't think that'd be a good idea. I like my freedom. I can play hide and go seek with the kids. They like me to find them. <laughs> My family means the world to me. It's not all about me no more. I can go out, be back before my curfew. I need to avoid this trouble. I can go for a walk with my wife. I can watch a movie with my family. This is only temporary. It won't last forever. I can have fun with my family. But all in all, I'm a grown man. I got to make a good example of doing the right thing. Yo. Yeah, still here? Hey, man, I don't think that would be a good idea, man. You can come over and watch TV with me and play some cards or something, but don't bring that weed and that liquor. You know what type of road I am on right now. Only with a cup of liquor? No, I ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix up a little bit, then I'll, I'll call you before I just, uh, pull up. Big. All right, All right. Good, great. All right, good job. really your new attitude and that was really how you handled it mm -hmm. what's one new feeling that you might have had about yourself after you handled it differently how would you have felt about yourself well I would have felt good about myself you know that 
I can handle a hard obstacle that coming my way. I can just jump across it Good. and continue to do the right thing. Good, great. Okay, great. So we can't just tell uh, tell Adrian to feel good about himself, but when he chooses to think in different ways and he chooses right. to have different attitudes and make decisions that are leading him to the goals that he wants in life, and like in this actions. case, supporting his family, then he automatically starts feeling good about himself. It doesn't mean that he still doesn't feel some being overwhelmed or being, you know, some anxiety or stress, but it means that he also can start feeling good about himself. I always to look around and see what I'm thankful for too, you know? Right. Yeah. Great. All right, good job, Adrian. Thanks for volunteering for us no today. No problem. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal.